Welcome to Business Live. I'm Mark Crossgreen in BL tonight. First up, we've got Jamaica producers here. Ticker symbol JP, a capital distribution disclosure. So the board of directors of JP declared an interim capital distribution. Jamaican, 20 cents per share. Seems like it could have been bigger, it could have been better, but it's still a nice capital distribution. Now this is less transfer tax at the applicable rate. The payment date, it's gonna go over into next year, 2021. It's January 15th. Now Kodak, this is Kodak Eastman. Interesting news here. They're cleared of any wrongdoing in the loan investigation. This was done by the federal agency. So you would have recalled, we carried on business life. They were supposed to have got a 765 million US loan from the government, um, you know, for all sorts of things that we're gonna be looking at going into. The stock, you know, went up by a few thousand percentage points or so, really raced up. And then this big announcement came out or a potential scandal about investigation. Now this is six months or so later, and it it says that they're cleared of all wrongdoing, but we'll see if they still go for the money, will they apply for it, who knows. Now, well-known fast food chain, Chick-fil-A, the company that everybody loves their chicken sandwiches. Interesting here, bringing a suit or suing many of the top poultry producers in the US. Uh, what, is, what is it all about? Alleging price fixing and artificially raising prices. So far, one of the firms has actually settled with Chick-fil-A for about 100 million US or so. So that's some admission of guilt there. Uh, but you know, not, let's not be too technical about that. The point is, is that they've given them some settlement or some fines. Now, there's about 16 others here in terms of the suit. You know, big names here, Purdue Chicken, Tyson Farms, Pilgrims. So interesting stuff here. We haven't seen this in you know, the Caribbean markets or some of the other markets, but this is real and happening in the US right now. Now in unfortunate news, AMC theaters, the stock continues to dip by as much as 16% or more. The whole movie experience is changing. We've been talking about this quite a bit on Business Live. We're now seeing where Disney is releasing its movies on Disney Plus actually doing very well. Lots of streaming, big numbers there. And other huge announcements. You know, we're talking about Warner Media, AT&T coming out and saying that for 2021, all of its releases are gonna be actually released and coming out at the same time on HBO Max as they come out in the AMC theaters. So that's really driving down actually, you know, the stock price in some of these theater companies, 10, 15, 20%. Last up now on Business Life Tonight, we've got the big news here. Airbnb. We just carried this last week talking about the valuation, 35 billion US dollars. Now the IPO price range jumping up to 60 US per share. Talk about demand there. Even though Airbnb, the home rental company, is actually losing you know, money year to date for 2020, which we'll get into. But the SPAC and the IPO markets are hot. You know, clearly board of directors, shareholders want to take advantage of this. So for year to date, or the nine months 2020, Airbnb losing about 700 million US dollars, a valuation 42 billion US dollars. How things are different in the North American markets and the Caribbean markets. I'm Mark Crossbury, this is Business Life.